factors should we take into account when deciding on our order winners or the threshold level to achieve on our order qualifiers? Clearly, what makes for an appropriate combination varies with different customer needs. One customer may want superior features at a higher price. Another customer may want a lower price. We need to take stock of the different needs of the customers in each market segment that our company serves. For each market segment, then, we need to configure our combination of order winners and order qualifiers and choose a level of capability on each that suits our customers' needs. A basic set of customers' needs are the product or service needs. These needs include a certain set of expectations about the features of the product or service, the quality, the amount of customization or variety, the price range, etc. In addition, delivery system needs deal with the manner in which customers want to interact with our system to receive the product or service. These needs could include delivery options, as well as location of our facilities, hours of operation, convenience of access, etc. Volume needs include customers' requirements regarding the level of output volume. For example, retail customers may have different volume needs than wholesale customers. Individual customers may have different requirements than industrial or commercial customers. Other needs of customers include any other requirements, including reputation, service and support, etc. It is important to get a good understanding of the customer's needs before we can decide on order winners or qualifiers. Let us say I expressed my requirements for a cup of coffee as follows. I want a cup of coffee that is fresh, tasty, at a decent temperature, served with reasonable speed, at a reasonable price. Does my statement give you any idea as to whether I would prefer to buy my coffee at Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, McDonald's, or the local gas station? On the other hand, suppose I said, I want a cup of coffee that has a flavor level of at least 9.5 on a 0 to 10 scale. I want the coffee beans to have been grown in certain regions of South and Central America, using organic and environmentally friendly farming techniques, and purchased using fair trade practices. I want the coffee to be freshly brewed, not sitting around for 15 minutes going stale. I want a wide variety of flavors to choose from. I also want the people serving the coffee to be extremely polite and cheerful and not just grunt when they hand me the coffee. I want a relaxed setting where I can sit down and enjoy my coffee and bring my work if I need to. I don't mind paying a premium price for this coffee. I also don't mind if it takes a few minutes to brew the fresh coffee. I don't want them to rush the whole thing. I would like the store to be conveniently located but I don't mind traveling a few miles out of the way to get what I want. Does this statement give you a better idea as to whether I would prefer to buy my coffee at Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, McDonald's, or the local gas station? Having a clear understanding of the customer's needs allows us to translate these needs into order winners and order qualifiers. One side of the equation is, in this particular market segment, the customer's needs are such and such, to satisfy which needs they choose our company over our competitors. The other side of the equation is, our company focuses on such and such order winners and provides such and such threshold level of capability on such and such order qualifiers, which combination matches well with the customer's needs in this particular market segment. Another very important factor in this equation is the core competencies or strengths that our company possesses. These competencies could include workforce, facilities, know-how, systems, technology, etc. Every company needs such capabilities, of course, but when we use the term core competency, it is useful to think about how well this strength fits with and supports our order winners. It is also useful to think about whether this strength is distinctive in any regard and difficult for competitors to replicate. For example, what is special about our workforce? Is it highly trained? Is there a certain work culture that permeates our workforce that competitors cannot replicate? Does it give us an edge with respect to our order winners? What is special about our facilities? 
do we have a special location at the corner of Main Street and XYZ Avenue that our competitors cannot replicate? Does it give us an edge with respect to our auto winners? Do we have any special equipment? Any patents? Do we have any special know-how? Any proprietary way of doing things? Any special relationship with and knowledge of the customers that we have cultivated over the years? We see that the three decisions, customers' needs or market segment, and competitive priorities, or order winners and qualifiers, and core competencies are interconnected. If these decisions are not aligned together, our operation strategy will be flawed. Our order winners must focus on our customers' needs. Our competencies must support our order winners. Also, the competencies we have developed can lead us into market segments that are a good fit for us or keep us from other segments. Finally, it is important to recognize that a competency that supports one competitive priority can possibly detract from another priority. For example, a highly skilled workforce may run counter to low cost. Or a low cost workforce may run counter to high quality or customization. Or a well-trained workforce may reduce our ability to easily upsize or downsize reducing our volume flexibility.